Hi, I'm Austin Goolsby, Chairman of the Council of Economic Advisors. And today I wanted to talk to you about the President's Wireless Innovation and Infrastructure Initiative, which he just outlined in Northern Michigan. This initiative would move the United States to the forefront of a high-speed wireless network throughout the entire country. And it really tries to prepare us so that our businesses can lead in this area and create jobs in this area going forward, much the way we did with the internet. If you look at the top five companies in the world in the internet space, all five of them are American. And over just the last 10 years, they've had dramatic job creation. Employment at those companies has gone up 588%. The internet sector now employs more than one million people. And more than just the internet sector, businesses across the board have been using the internet to sell their products everywhere in the world. Now, many people believe that the next round of the internet revolution is going to be on wireless. You've already seen the beginnings of that. There have, by 2010, been more than 12 billion applications downloaded for mobile phones. There are 80,000 businesses selling mobile phone applications. I understand there are even two kid millionaires in Finland selling games about angry birds. If we are going to win the future, we need to dominate this space. But the fact is, our infrastructure is falling behind. If you look at the share of people in a country that have a high-speed 3G wireless connection, the United States isn't even in the top five. And that's why the President's Wireless Initiative is going to leapfrog 3G and roll out the fourth generation wireless technology and let us lead the world in that. The plan includes three parts. The first is the government will make available a big chunk of airwave spectrum, 500 megahertz, that will serve as the backbone of a new business platform. We'll auction this spectrum off so it will actually also reduce the deficit by billions of dollars. Second, it includes major investment incentives to encourage the private sector to build out the network on its own. You've already started seeing that in many cities of the country and those investment incentives are in place. And then third, the Wireless Innovation Fund in which we will have some seed monies to fund some of our brightest scientists who will find better ways to make it faster, more secure, and a better business platform going forward. Throughout our history, whether the transcontinental railroad, the electrification of the nation, the building of the interstate highway system, America has always used the building of our infrastructure networks to take our economy forward and to build out American industry. The wireless initiative is going to bring that to the 21st century. It's going to take it to the next level because that's the American way.